Today we're standing at 1070 Texas Street, and this is this location is where we are in the process, as you can see behind me, of constructing our new firehouse number seven. Uh, we are actually building firehouse number seven to relocate some companies that we currently have in service, uh, serving the citizens at this time. And the reason we're doing this is to better respond to the whole city with our truck company and our battalion chief. What we're planning on doing here is building a station that we can house our truck company, our battalion chief, his aide, and our chief engineer and his mechanic helper. And what that's going to do is that's going to center our truck company and battalion chief in the center of the city. If you were to look at a map of Louisville and the main body of Louisville, our I-35 and Business 121 intersection is pretty much the center of the city. We are about one block off of that intersection here at 1070 Texas Street, and we felt like this was the perfect location to bring our truck company and our battalion chief. That gives them easy access onto our major thoroughfares to get them to any of the four quadrants, so to speak, of our city. Currently, our truck company runs out of Central Fire Station at this time, located at 188 North Valley Parkway, which pretty much puts them in our western, northwestern part of the city. That makes their responses to our south end of town and our easternmost parts of town a lot longer responses. In our south end of town, uh, down towards Vista Ridge Mall area, we have a lot of our uh, multifamily dwellings, uh, commercial structures, large commercial warehouses, our mall, um, our new convention center. And so we wanted to be able to get our, our, our truck company and our battalion chief into those areas in cases of fires and rescues and a quicker uh, response time. Uh, the city management and our, and our uh, council and mayor uh, were able to see the benefit that this was going to provide to the city and, and allowed us to purchase this property here, which was the, the old Owens restaurant property, uh, and, and allow us to build this firehouse. The beauty of doing this is it's going to keep us from having to add a second truck company to our city. Uh, we'll be able to cover the whole city uh, for several years with just this one truck company. And again, our battalion chief that supervises all of our fire stations, currently we have six, um, will be centered in, in amongst the, the remaining fire stations and be able to get out and, and uh, interact with his officers uh, and, and make responses on uh, the larger scale incidents and, and be able to respond to those incidents in a, in a lot uh, quicker time frame. Also going to this locate, uh, at this firehouse uh, is our assistant chief of operations, which is myself. Uh, I'll be relocating to this uh, firehouse uh, myself and that's going to allow us to have two assistant chiefs split on either side of the highway. That puts our assistant chief of support to remain at Central Station. I'll be on the east side of the highway and that's going to make our responses to and from large scale incidents a lot better as well. Right over my uh, right shoulder here is the location where the three apparatus bays are going to be. We're building three 100 foot bays on this station because we're going to have both of our trucks, our, our first line truck and its reserve sitting in this house. Um, we're going to have our battalion chief and his backup vehicle sitting in, this, in these bays. And we're going to have a reserve engine in these bays. What this is going to allow for, as far as our chief engineer's job is concerned, is to center him in amongst all of our other fire stations. And when a, an engine company or an ambulance company has a piece of apparatus that needs some uh, work done on it, they can come to this location, uh, they can swap over to the reserve engine, take the reserve engine with them, put their piece of apparatus in the reserve engine's hole, and it gives our, our mechanics a place to work out of the weather and elements, out of the heat, out of the cold, out of the rain, where they can work in an environment that's more conducive to them being able to get work done around the clock and not have to stop work if a storm's coming through or if it's 105 out on the back uh, aprons of our stations or something. At this time, our station is, is uh, on schedule to be completed in February of 09. And talking with the job superintendent, he's hoping to maybe beat that time frame, but, but we're anticipating around February of 09 to actually open and occupy this station to start running out of here. We're actually going to design this station from the exterior to look like an older fire station. Uh, we're trying to do that to fit the old town motif, so to speak, uh, and sticking with like the uh, city hall design. Uh, what you're going to see is some neat features on this station. We're going to have a watchtower off the uh, uh, north, be the northwest corner, front corner of the building. 
It's going to uh, resemble one of your old watch tires that you might see in some of your old uh, period stations in the uh, early 1900s, early or late 1800s, early 1900s. Those watchtowers were actually built on the stations for people to uh, occupy them and keep a watch out over the city. If they saw any smoke in the horizon or whatever, then they could set off an alarm to get the volunteers back in and respond to the fires. So we're going to build this station with a, with a false watchtower slash bell tower. It'll actually have a false bell in it. Again, in the older uh, in, in history, the bell was used to ring to uh, signal that there was a fire and draw the volunteers in to the firehouse to get the apparatus and respond. Uh, we're going to have some arched bay, uh, bay door openings uh, to give it that old, old style look. Uh, some false bifold doors uh, that will be red to look like some of your, your uh, historic uh, time frames and fire station design. And we're real excited to be able to build a station with this look to it. We're hoping that as the old, old side of, of town, uh, the, the old part of Louisville is starting to revitalize, we're going to be able to fit right in with that revitalization and, and, and be a, uh, a, a good partner with the look that they're trying to bring to Old Town Louisville. What this, what this uh, new station is going to mean to the citizens of Louisville is we're going to be able to respond to their emergencies with our truck and battalion chief a lot quicker through the whole city. Um, and then also doing this, we're, we're making that, that quicker response available without having to add any manpower, without having to purchase any new equipment. Again, we're just relocating these guys and this piece of apparatus from our central station and bringing them down here. So the cost of the citizens is basically just the building of the building itself and then the future upkeep and maintenance of the building. Uh, but it's not going to add any more cost to the citizens as far as bringing in a brand new truck. It's not going to add any more cost as far as hiring 18 new employees that we'll be paying salaries for, uh, you know, as long as they're employed here. Um, it's just the building itself. So we're real excited about being able to provide better response and coverage to the citizens with our truck company without having to add any more expense and personnel costs. Once the station is completed and we're ready to, uh, to occupy it, we will be advertising and having a grand opening of the station. And, and I really would like to invite any and all the citizens of Louisville to come out to our grand opening uh, to tour the station and, and see what we've built uh, to help better serve the citizens of Louisville. If you can't get to our grand opening, feel free to stop by at any time. We're here 24-7. Uh, just knock on the door. We'd love to welcome you into our new home here. And, and, and give you a tour of the facilities and show you what we're able to provide to you and explain to you what we're going to be able to provide to you in service uh, in response with our truck company and our battalion chief.